Preakness Day. The pressure was turned up on Secretariat's connections because it was at this site the year before that Meadow Stables' Reva Ridge lost his chance for the 1972 Triple Crown. Front running winner of the Derby and the Belmont, Reva Ridge couldn't handle the sloppy track that day in the Preakness and finished a well-beaten fourth as the strong 1-5 favorite. As Secretariat, also the 1-5 fan's choice, was being dressed for the occasion in the Pimlico infield, he was forming his own race strategy that caught everyone by surprise, including owner Penny Tweedy. As they came past the stands the first time, he was with horses, he wasn't way back, and suddenly he just, he made a leap forward all on his own, as if, hey, I'm ready to go. And he just took off. And Ronnie hadn't asked him, it was, it was not when we planned that he was gonna move, he just decided to do it. And that, that just, I thought, okay, we've got this one. It should be in just a moment. He likes to lean against the back of the gate, which makes him start slowly, and they'll, they'll be careful with him. And now, as Secretary goes, and he doesn't even wanna go in the gate, let alone, not lean against the back of it. With three horses in, I'm going to give this to Chick Anderson, who will call the race for you. Our native now into the gate. We're waiting for Torsion. He's in and now moving into the starting gate. We're about ready to go as a coletage. We'll complete the field on the outside. They're all in. They all seem to be standing well. Sham straightens up a little. Secretariat bobs his head. We're still looking. And they're off. Oh, the early lead. That's Deadly Dream on the outside at Coletage. Then it's also Torsion on the outside. They're coming by us. It's a Coletage getting it. And he's still moving away by about two and a half as they pass the stands. Settling into second, Torsion. Sham has good position third on the rail. It's another three lengths back. Deadly Dream. Then our native and Secretariat is last again as they move into the first turn. They're into the turn. A Coletage has it by two lengths. Torsion second by a length, and then Sham third. Sham under an easy hold right now, but here comes Secretariat. He's moving fast, and he's going to the outside. He's going for the lead, and it's right now he's looking for it. Ronnie Turcotte sends him alongside a Coletage. Here we have it. A Coletage is the leader, but Sham, rather, Secretariat is right alongside. Then still further back, that is Sham now going to the outside in third. We're moving down the back stretch. Secretariat holding it by a length and a half. Here comes Sham second on the outside now. Now it's Secretariat the leader by a length and a half with Sham moving into second. And it looks like Ecole Taj has had it, dropping back in third. Coming on in fourth is our native, and he's pretty close. Torsion fifth, and a trailer way back is Deadly Dream. They're on the turn, and here's the race, folks. Secretariat trying to hold it, and Sham is driving to get him. These two are beginning to open a few lengths as our native settles into third. Third, and he has about three lengths on Ecole Taj. Head of the stretch, Secretariat, two and a half. Sham under a strong left-handed whip, and he's making the run now, but it's still Secretariat holding on. Secretariat by two lengths. Sham driving second. There's a strong left-handed whip again by Tinkai. He goes to it time and time again, but Ronnie Turcott has his whip put away, and Secretariat has him put away. He's beginning to draw away. It is Secretariat. again by the big strong secretariat who made a very very swift move on the back stretch took the lead surprisingly the victory wasn't in question just the time the track teletimer said 155 a full second slower than the track record but the daily racing forums chief clockers from different vantage points hand timed the winner in 153 and 2 as secretariat came into the winner's circle word was spreading about the time discrepancy it was a controversy that led to a special hearing before the Maryland Racing Commission, where CBS television showed an identical frame-by-frame -frame match of that 1973 Preakness on the bottom and track record holder Canada II's 1971 Preakness on the top of the screen. The results? Secretariat was almost two lengths faster than the old 154 record time. But despite the overwhelming proof, Maryland racing officials would only agree to clocker E.T. McLean Jr.'s hand timing of 154 and 2 fifths seconds for the race. But the Daily Racing Forum, on its official chart of that 1973 Preakness, noted forever its disagreement, adding their own footnote. Daily Racing Forum time, 153 and 2 fifths seconds. New track record.
Ron Turcott reflects back on Secretariat's effort in the Preakness. Secretariat was always a kind of horse that loved to run around turns. He was a lefty, you know, that means he le led with his left foot all the time, and he flew around turns. Uh, when we came around the first time, uh, passing the wire the first time around, I started to draw behind them horses, and the, uh, uh, I looked up ahead and I seen they were, they all folded up on their horse, they were backing down a little bit, so I just swung them out so I wouldn't get trapped in the inside. But he just breezed by them and uh, went by everybody around the first turn, took the lead around the three-quarter pole, and, and the rest was history. Shane was trying to catch him. Uh, uh, Lafitte was whipping to beat, it, to beat hell, and uh, I kept hearing him there. I hated to be that horse. Jeez, that poor Shane, he must have got a beating there. Anyway, um, he won with something in the reserve. I kept thinking the Belmont and you know, have something in reserve. I didn't want to use them up. In the three weeks between the Preakness and the Belmont, Secretariat transcended sports. 